I'm Maggie from Personally Euphoria Pilates, and we're going to use the foam roller right now to stretch our psoas muscle, which is one of your hip flexors. So this is a great stretch if you have a tight psoas, but sometimes it bothers people in their low back. If you have any discomfort in your low back, you don't have to do this option. Um, so a couple of choices. You can either start sitting on it, and then use your hands to lay yourself back down, or you can have the foam roller by your side, heels beneath your knees, lift up to a shoulder bridge, and slide the foam roller under. That is probably the safer option, um, but if you feel like you can't find or coordinate the foam roller, you can lay back from sitting on top. So, you want the foam roller towards the top end of your glutes, not on your low back, definitely on your pelvis. From here, you're going to straighten one leg down and bring your arms overhead. And you can just lie here for up to 30 seconds if it feels good. If it's bothering you in your low back, play with slightly different positions. Maybe you inch further up the foam roller, maybe you inch further down, okay? Generally, you'll want it lower on your butt if it's bothering your back, but play with what feels good in your body. From here, think of medially rotating that leg. So when you straighten it out, it probably just flops out to the side. Think of pointing the toes towards your midline, but have it come from the hips. So you're rolling that leg in, and you're going to twist your upper body. So it's almost like you're trying to make a C with your hands and your foot, the whole side of your body. And keep breathing. And you can stay here for 15 seconds, 30 seconds, whatever feels good. When you're done with that side, you'll straighten out. You'll straighten the other leg and just stay there for a bit, noticing if one side feels tighter than the other, or if one side aggravates your back and the other didn't. Then medially rotate, pull that leg in, and twist the upper body so you're creating a C curve here. Keep breathing. Always listen to your body. If the back's bothering you, bend both knees and come off that foam roller. Straighten back out to center, bend both knees, lift to a shoulder bridge, slide the foam roller out from under you, and you are all set. You've stretched some of your hip, deepest hip flexor muscles.